But when are you had two sec first years most? So it's not first year. No, I'm nervous. Let's start over. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> the one that I had the other day. Mm. No, it's not. It's true, but... What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Esana Sipango and this is Med School Chronicles where I'll be talking to you guys about everything Med School related. So today I have a guest with me who is going to introduce herself. Hi guys, my name is Onele and welcome to Esana's channel. Um, so it's it's been a minute and I decided to finally shoot a video again. So today we will be we will be talking about our first year expectations versus reality in med school. And it's been a video that I've been wanting to do, but I think I just wanted to be finished with first year first before I could like actually actually think about doing it. So let's get into the video. <laughs> Okay, so to get into the video, I'm going to be asking a few questions and then we'll start talking about our expectations and everything as we ease into it. So what was your, what was your, what was your worst and your best subject, best module in, in, in first year? Okay, my worst... And why? My worst has to be be okay, one to one. I was really not okay. It was a lot. <laughs> um, it was a lot. And within... I'd say histology and embryology in the same breath because you know guys histology if you know histology you'll know that it's just pink and purple I am convinced that they are fooling us there's no difference they are forcing us to see the difference and I wasn't seeing it I was just seeing color the pink and the purple and that was it so it was really horrible because the slides apparently they are different I just want to know how, how, how you guys compare the embryology to histology. No, I'm not comparing no, it to it. I'm not comparing uh, it to it. How are they on the same level? Embryology was hard, hard, guys. I, I embryology don't was hard. At least it wasn't making sense. And I feel like what made embryology difficult is the fact that every time you have to go right, you mm -hmm. had you studying as if you are studying it for as the first if you are studying for the first time. So how how is that? Your notes the same, they same don't make sense. Then. I remember I went through my notes and I was like. What was I talking about? Ah, guys, no worries. But histology, <laughs> the pictures, I wasn't seeing the difference. That's why I'd say it was Bandage, hard. But, but also to, to, to put it on the same level as embryology. You know, guys. <laughs> we, only no. did, we only did two actual no. modules in medical school. I don't want to count the modules we did in first semester. But you because we did them online. So... I would have a lot of favorites because we were doing and them also online. to put a disclaimer, by online, she means that at least we could go back and watch our recordings. Yeah, and, and, and we could write tests in a more comfortable manner. Like, we were more comfortable in writing the test. So what was your what was your worst module in first semester? I'm, I'm assuming based on what you just said, it's probably going to be something from first semester. My well, worst? Your best, my best? Yeah, your best. I didn't like them. They were easy, but I didn't like them. The best, I think pharmacology, I really enjoyed pharmacology in second semester. Enjoy the study or you enjoy the fact that the test was basically a repetition of the previous year's one? No, not the <laughs> test. No, actually, I was scared for the test. I was okay. really, I, okay. I was like, I wouldn't remember the name. Did you not have the NDF fatigue by that time, though? I did. So I enjoyed the work. Oh, okay. I enjoyed so the work. Okay. Not the test. I was very scared about the test. But at least it wasn't that bad. But the work itself, I feel like it made sense. Even though I couldn't remember the okay. names, I could just remember it's sound what med whatever. So, but the work itself, it made sense. It felt more med school. So nothing from first semester you went to, you went to First semester, I was just living my life, guys. I was exploring PTA, and school was very part time. MLP, chemistry, mm -hmm. physics, none, none best, of that. Best. It's the same day, so they're not even like close to being your worst. No. Like physics, I wouldn't say it was the <clears> best <throat> because it was a repetition of what we did in the trick. So I wasn't really doing anything. Yeah. And I think I think my best my best has to be ENTW. 
What? Nothing I enjoy. I don't computer. remember a single psychology, thing. The psychology and the sociology that we did in first semester. No, probably the best there was a point do. where we were learning about scientists that died ages and ago. I want to pair it with neurophysiology from second semester when we were doing OPOC. Neurophysiology was also one of my best because the lecture I was, 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 was probably the best okay, yeah. lecture we, we ever had thus far. But the test? What test? The questions he asked in the no, no, is Zongi MCQs, the FFQs that he asked, he told you, but this is, he gave us the three okay. possible MCQs in class, and you already knew by the time you got to your subject test and your block test what was a possible MCQ. But I feel like he did us dirty with that, especially with. But if you were listening in class, because now I didn't use the term that he used in his notes, but I remembered when he was talking in class about he used to, he, he made that example about when you can't point directly and he was pretending to be drunk and he was. Mm. So I remember okay, that, that I remembered. Uh, why is the feeling No, but in the exam. Oh, I didn't, I, I didn't write the exam, so. <laughs> was it the exam? But, but there was a test where there was an FFQ that I. You've think. never seen before. But also, I, I wouldn't want to blame that on him, I would want to blame that on the best. Because the person is the one that chooses which question to put into mm. into, into. my worst huh. <laughs> MLP guys <laughs> hated MLP with everything in me. Not because it was hard, it was hard. Because you 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 go into the test thinking, I've covered everything and I know everything. And then they would ask you a question that would throw you off completely. You'd sit there, you'd read the question and you ask yourself, Which part well, what, are you, what are you asking? <laughs> what are you asking? The one minute you were talking about photosynthesis, the next minute you're talking about an astronaut in space and the astronaut is experiencing colors. And it's a lot. It's a lot. And they, they allowed us a cheat sheet when we went into, into our tests. So I think that also just demotivated you to study because you knew about you could write a lot of things on a piece help. of paper and it never helped. The cheat sheet. Never helped. I'll tell you one thing. Our, our very first MLB test, the average was a 28%. <laughs> we class you of 1.3, 1.4 students. <laughs> 1.3, 1.4 students. Yeah. Average of 28%. With the lowest, it was, it was a 10%. I think the lowest one was, that, was a 10%. Out of 1.3 students, only 50 people plus minus had a distinction. 50 plus minus and I think there was like 200 300 that that made it through no the numbers were insane but I didn't care <laughs> I was like, as long as I passed and you know, you know the worst part is I think when I saw my marks because everything else first semester was going wrong you know I was getting my 80s and my 90s and then I wrote my first MLP test and I remember thinking to myself I was probably going to be in the 60s you no know, <laughs> late 60s early 70s mark comes back I'm sitting on a 52 and I thought to myself damn <laughs> Which one is this one? <laughs> Which one is this one? Only to find out that a lot of people were out there getting more than thirty percent, twenty percent, and and yeah, it was it was it was it was it was definitely one of my worst. And I think from second semester, second semester was okay. I mean, block or block one rather was very content dense, but also it was very manageable. You know, it's it's. So you're choosing MLB over embryology? I'd like to 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 to, to retract my statement. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I would to genuinely you. like to retract my because statement. Because the cheat sheet at least. <sighs> embryology, no one Guys. will tell you J. Yeah, no. I think there was there was there was a day where I was studying embryology and it was a Friday. And I remember going outside and I called a friend of mine who stays in Centurion and mm -hmm. I was telling my if I'm on the verge of breaking down because I've been looking at the embryology and it's not going in the, the, the one minute you, you have that Kony Morula somewhere the next minute it's like wait wait where, where did this come from <laughs> and, what, and the names don't about, make sense annoying thing about it also is you have one structure initially it differentiates to two structures, which differentiate to three structures, differentiating to other structures. And you have to know about this structure in, in an adult would now be this. And then it's just a lot. 
Ah, it's a lot. I, I, the naming also. I, and I apparently, like it's coming back. Well. No, it definitely does come back. I think <laughs> third year where we do the neon new neonates neonates where they'll just randomly ah, ask you about ooh. this baby has a cleft a cleft palate or in don 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 and you have to remember by embryology said that the mesoderm did not differentiate into <laughs> personally the mesoderm was my favorite term to use <laughs> embryology if you did pure maths in high school and you did not understand in euclidean geometry and you, you enjoyed throwing around tan code as a reason black <laughs> mesoderm is exactly that yeah mesoderm, when in doubt look for mesoderm in the answers <laughs> and you'll be fine <laughs> Please. If it's MCQ, the uh, one that has mesoderm in the statement. And also, quick, 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 quick story time, guys. I think when I got to med school, I told myself I want a full first year experience. Like I told myself, I'm not applying for credits. I'm not. It's just going to be me and bugging it out. I'm doing everything. I'm basically going to be a matriculant, whatever. I sat in my first chemistry class, which was online, and I think it was. One of our last class, it was our second last class for the day, if not our last class for the day. And this lady was speaking so fast. She was speaking so fast. And someone wrote in the comment section, Man, you're moving too fast. And she was like, Oh, if I'm moving too fast, then you're probably in the wrong place or you shouldn't be here. Something like that. And um, this is varsity. This is varsity. Those things happen. Ah, when I tell you, by the time that lecture ended, I'd already sent through my application for credits for chemistry because I was like, I can already tell by it's yeah. not ending. It's, it's it going to be a huge problem. Ah, it's going to be a huge problem. And ask any med student what their worst subject in first year is probably going to be chemistry, but now it's pretty different chemistry. And apparently, someone was, was smart enough to not struggle with chemistry. I they... did struggle. <laughs> I did. Trust me, I did. But I really didn't care about first semester modules like that because I didn't get the point. The valid. So I didn't put it to heart. That's why. But it also just to. First semester at UP is BSc based, so that's how most people. I think it's normally fifty, if not seventy-five, people are able to transfer from first year BSc if you were doing the mainstream of BSc from first year BSc from first semester, sorry, BSc into second semester med school. But first year is uh, BSc based, where we do philosophy, we do chemistry, we do MLB, we do. Uh, what else do we do? Chemistry, did I mention MTL. chemistry? We do Intel Medical Terminology, we do... AIM. Ah, computers. AIM. <laughs> and also this year they, they had a new rule of some sort where if you did not have a distinction in your matric... For English. For English, you had to do ELA mm. where you now being taught how to... <laughs> <laughs> being taught English. <laughs> Very, very unnecessary module as well, but we also did that, we did... And I think that's about everything we did in first semester. Psychology as well. Psychology, psychology, MGW was psychology and, and sociology. And I must say, as much as I sort of like enjoyed it because it was an easy read, I really thought when they said psychology, it's going to be like, you know, psychology, psychology. Like when you... <laughs> Don't tell me you thought about psychology. Mm, like psychology, where you have to, okay. you have to, you know. But they were teaching consult a patient, and, you know, give them the proper what. How was it psychology? Psychology. Because you, they you were, were telling about you, sleeping patterns, and, and they, they were telling you about how patients think when a patient comes in. But that was like, like at the very, very end, which was like that very third percent. It wasn't a third of it. I don't it, was, know. it was like. The last two lectures of it all. But also, I feel like first semester is demotivating, especially if, especially if you come in from high school and you are enthusiastic about med school. Like, I'm going to study to be a doctor. It really, it really takes you. You are from thinking there. scrubs. Because <laughs> when you hear medical school, you think scrubs. You think dental school. Mm. You think dissections. You think hospital. You think, you think hospital. Content creation. Content. You know, I'm going to be making mm. reels. I'm going to be making. You get here, but it's a chemist, physics, MLB. They give you all those modules, and the practicals you're doing, you're missing chemicals. You are not seeing patients. Dilutions. Dilutions. <laughs> that you guys, it's so boring to a point where you are like, this is not what I signed up for. And the thing is transitioning from high school into university 
it's hard as it like already it's hard and now you're suffering because of things you aren't even going to use in like in future so you're just like what am i doing here what's the point of it all what's the point of it all i'm catching 50s <clears throat> i'm catching 50s imagine coming from 90s in high school you get to uni you're now catching 50s and you're like and it's not like you're not studying everything like this. You are. <laughs> it's and not I think like that's why studying. I ended up kind of like not studying. Because you were like, what's the, like, point? <laughs> what's the point? What's the point? Because you study, you study, you study, and yeah, then your marks, they don't match the effort that you put into, like, into the work. You will push, you will push, you will push. When you go to bed and you're trying to think, what did I learn today? That has been second year for me. Yeah, and, and it's not even it's not even Always. it's not even when you get to bed you read the <laughs> first five slides by the time you get to the sixth one you're like i they're remember like, this term <laughs> or in class or in class they're like you guys remember when we spoke about the whatever pathway you're like which one <laughs> when was this i'm always like what do you mean? Or when was this ben, ah, but i mean second semester was, was quite enjoyable Compared to first semester. And second second year of first semester thus far. Because been. everyone was like, okay, now we're moving to the medical campus. Because yeah. we even changed campuses. Hey, guys. So we're like, ah, yeah. Hey, and we even had L had L class where oh, yeah. Yeah, we I went out too. we went I out know. to the community. It wasn't as interesting as they made it sound. Yeah. yeah. Like I really thought I really thought you were gonna be wearing scribes and you're gonna, you know, be Checking it. Well, at least we group here. Other groups got to check EPP. They got to do, you know, other things as well. You know, we just yeah. got there. You'd ask, you'd ask the patient if they're taking the treatment. You'd ask if they know why they're taking the treatment and if they're adhering to the treatment. And sure, go fine. And it might seem interesting. Um, but also, there, the language. Ah, you get the there language. and they're speaking deep, deep, deep speaking. Speed. And, and you're you like, <laughs> sorry, what? <laughs> Sorry, what? Miss Nem, what are you saying? <laughs> All I heard was, I after they said to be long. <laughs> after that, it's like, And now you have to be ah. translating to ah, like, ah, if there's a person that understands the language, now they have to translate to the whole group. And it doesn't feel the same way. You don't feel like you are interacting yeah, with the patient. The yeah. We also did, we did, is paid for a week second really? semester as well so in second semester we had block one so we do blocks in mid school i'm sure you guys know this by now so surely but we do blocks in mid school so there's a block one that we did first semester we did a week of esmo which is basically a language so you got to choose between afrikaans this is only mm -hmm. so and you couldn't choose a language that you speak at home or that you did as a first edition or, or uh, a home language in, 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 matric. in matric so you had to choose something different and then we did a pharmaco or something that drugs that's all i can say you know so i chose the speed because i was like you know vele vele i think pta is mostly black people that speak speed so I, I at least want to break that language barrier but obviously you can't learn a new language in a week yeah you know and as much as i i i understand it to me long you know no no it's hard to <laughs> just, like say it yeah. out loud yeah, it, it really is so it, it was it was it was a lot especially we, we also had i think in our group we only had one or two people that understood um is baby so now majority of us had to rely on, mm. on on people translating and it really does take away from your experience because you know you wake up and you're excited and you're like oh I'm going to learn something new today and then you get there and you're like might as well give me an Afrikaans lecture and expect me to know what's going on you know so it was it was a bit unenjoyable and non-enjoyable but a block one mm -hmm. I feel like the other thing that shocked me was the fact that when I came here I knew about Hetfield I thought I was gonna get here and I was gonna be up I was going to be a city girl coming from a small town obviously i would lie i'm going to be hitting the streets sharp first semester i kind of tried second semester comes you, know you were going out first semester i was like you you were forever posting on your stories yeah. you, you, were, you were living it no life. because i told myself i'm not going to use this information you really are. as a doctor so i might as well make the most of my life and see school when i see it and then they place you in prison. 
<laughs> then we come to Prince Rock. They are like every Monday you are writing, writing a text. text. So that means every weekend I am suffering. And I remember I was telling, I was telling, I was, I was telling a friend of mine, but my weekend jam was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. My Monday was my Friday. My Tuesday was my Saturday. Because my every, Wednesday on was Monday, Sunday. everyone is like. <laughs> With time, so basically, with the block one, with the block one, it was an eight week block. So we had the first two weeks, and then four weeks, and then the last two weeks. So, in the first two weeks, on the first Monday, we wrote work that we covered in the first week. On the second Monday, we wrote work that we covered in both those two weeks. And then the same thing with the, with the four week block, it was the first Monday that work, second Monday, that work, third Monday, that work, and then on the fourth Monday, it was all four weeks worth of work, and then the same with the last two weeks. So, when I'm Jeve Levele, regularly yoga, you have to be, Friday hits, hence, even when I'm telling you guys about the embryology story, probably you ask yourself, why was, why was I studying on a Friday? Because I knew about Monday, Monday, I had, I had to be at the computer lab, or nine o'clock, do a body test, and it was a lot, guys. I was it really was. Ah, and then pharmacology came, we were writing every day. Test every day. I, <laughs> I think at first I really thought Guys, writing every week is a lot. You know, it really doesn't make sense. Until you tell start writing every day. How you expect me to study something. You tell me something at 8 a.m. in the morning. And I have to write. And I have to write on, it on, on the same day. With it, I think. The only reason we survived most of the time is that because they were they were repeating past papers a lot. Yeah, carry that thing because I know in matric we used to do a lot of past papers in matric. Carry it mm -hmm. with you if you're coming in from matric. That habit of taking past papers and doing them, do it in the university. Don't be scared. DM Abu Esona and ask for past papers. Probably not gonna respond, but no, I'm joking, guys. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. DM them and get past papers because. One thing about lectures, the yeah, especially the, especially block one, histology show will find. But I do you'll feel never like never find a repeated question. Go 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 go. <laughs> histology, but with most of it, yeah. it's normally a repeat. And, with the and I feel well. like this goes for like almost everything. People are now tired of creating new questions. Yeah, they're just rearranging the words. So like, just do your past papers and ask yeah. for resources. Like even in first semester, I think I think with physics and uh, with physics. Definitely stick to past papers. And I feel like the other thing um, was with friends. I don't know why I thought. Also, guys, I'm sorry before you speak. When you get here, I think I think I remember when you started second semester. The lecturers just kept on emphasizing over and over and over again. But you're all doing medicine now. There's no need to compete. There's no need Please, to beat people. No and at first, I was like, we get it. We're not gonna gatekeep until you like. People are gatekeeping. You're gatekeeping. Like, and you are gatekeeping. my chat is always if you get ah. 90%, I get 60 When we get to the hospital, listen, this is the important part. When we get to the hospital, the patient is not going to ask, Dr. So Dr. <laughs> Sofuza, what did you get for physiology? Just give me the resources, bro. Like, if you have a past paper, just hand it over. Yeah. Give it to us. Let's pass together. Because I don't understand. I want to, they, do they want to graduate alone? And uh, you, you will come across a lot of gatekeepers. Yeah. You know, you'll find out. On, don't be that person. You'll find out on the day of the pharmacology blog test that <laughs> there, was, there was a drive of past papers. And you'll find out five minutes before you go in. And then five minutes when you come out, you'll find out it was 90% last year's paper and you like how where when where was the paper ah bro gatekeepers so please do when you get here try and find as hard as it may be yeah people and have resources don't be scared to hit up a second year on instagram tell them that you don't know how to study for philosophy and you don't please, know how to guys. go through block one it's overwhelming you know hit us up we're probably going yeah, through the most as well. Dogged. And then when I could ask me anything histology related or neurophysiology or anything first year related, I probably won't answer you. But I will tell you, but this is how I went through it and this is what I used or you know study tips or whatever the case might yeah. be. Don't don't rely on I'll make notes. You won't and have time. Don't isolate yourself. 
even with your classmates. Uh, I mean, I do that, but don't do it. It's very hard. It's very hard to. You to need people around you. Well. You need people around you. True, but it is very hard to, to especially. I feel like with the social squares and everything, it does help you. you know, interact no, with people this is what I was getting at. I thought it would be easy to make friends because obviously, socials. yeah, they make socials. They force us to do these activities and games and. You can make friends from socials. People talk to people they know. No ways. Nah, I, I met all my friends <laughs> through socials. I don't know. Mm. I wanted to say people should make friends during that first week. Oh yes, no, definitely. Because if, if yeah, because after you miss that, the boat, then <laughs> you miss that. Ah, uh, shame. Once those group chats are formed. <laughs> yeah, you will try and make friends, and they'll be yeah. like, "What's going on?" It's one of those. Oh, I'll talk to you out of kindness. And mm. So they are nice people. They should go. If they fight. say it's go outside, to... play this game. Please go. Why? Please go, cause you will meet people. How many friends did you make? Especially one. <laughs> <laughs> Especially Andres, <laughs> guys. Even if you don't end up being friends with them, at least you know faces. Yeah. All I'm saying is we'll go through a lot of things. Yeah, right? you especially, will, and you'll find yourself. Especially in Wales, because Wales culture may be overwhelming sometimes, but trust yeah. me, it, it it does it does help in a sense because I feel like. There, there, there are a lot of people that I don't think I'd be talking to now if it was not for that yes. race culture situation that we had in the first year. Yeah. But, really but mentally, how did it treat you? First year. Mm. A lot of <laughs> imposter syndrome. A lot of it. Mm. Like a lot, a lot, a lot of it. When I got that 52 for MLB first semester, first thing I did was call my aunt and I was like, hey, bruv. I don't think I can do this anymore. <laughs> True colors, I'm not meant to be here. You know, difficulty, and it's a lot. It's a lot, you know. And I, I, I had to find other ways to remind myself, but you're not here by mistake. You, know, yeah. you really are here. And you worked hard. And, and I did work hard. And as, as much as he, he marks us out for that test, weren't reflecting. I, I really didn't stand for that test because I remember I just wrote everything on my cheat sheet because I was like, we're allowed a cheat sheet and I thought it was going to be a multiple choice situation or what does the mitochondria do or what's the powerhouse of, of the cell or whatever. Thing. I thought it was going to be a s simple, stupid questions. Until you get there and they're asking you application based questions. Bacteria A found What's the, the difference seal? between a eukaryote and a prokaryote? I, I thought it was going to be, you know, Those simple stuff. Until you get there and it's application based, and now you have to understand about oh, they're asking me the difference between a prokaryote and a eukaryote, you know. So it, it was hard in that sense. But second semester as well, there was a lot that was happening in second semester. I think a week, the, the week that we had before we wrote our first block test, I, I, I felt sick, I had flu, like a very bad flu. I was, I was, I was really sick. You know, going to the toilet was a mission, like my body was so. My back was hurting, everything there was just a lot. And now I'm also panicking because I'm writing my blog test the following week and I can't study because obviously I'm sick. And at this point, I'm just like, you know what, I want to choose my mental health, but at the same time, you yeah, I'm frustrated push. because I really do have to push, you yeah. know, and it really did take a lot out of me. And by, by the time we got to Friday, I don't know how many times I cried in that week because I was frustrated. But I am trying to study, but I can't even deny it because block knows you have a headache, you're coughing, your back hurts, and you have to look at structure, say, embryology, and understand by the <laughs> more ruler, and then that's going to form a blastocyst, that's going to form mesoderm and endoderm. And <laughs> you just <laughs> have to say, please. And you know, it, it was a lot, it was a lot, you know, it really did take a lot yeah. out of me. So, I think with the week year SMO that we had after block one, it was very. You know, mm. I can finally catch my breath. I can finally try and go back to the drawing board and find out how I can, you know, yeah. work on making things better for 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 a pharmacology thing. And then hope for the best. And pharmacology was only like two, two weeks. weeks. And then felt like, like, I felt like a lot. Yeah, I did. I was a lot. Yeah, pharmacology <laughs> was a lot. <laughs> no, I, feel like I still don't know how I got my it. ego is still recovering definitely, definitely. from first year. Because 
There's I... nothing as painful, guys, as going to a test knowing that you know your work. And you're like, mm -hmm. I was singing anything that they asked when I paper today. And then you get in the test and you're like, which one is this one? What is this? <laughs> Where was this in the nerds? Where, and the where... thing is, for uh... me, even in high school, I wasn't someone that spent a long, like a lot of time trying to get the work. Yeah, so <laughs> when I got here, I was like, ah, I should breeze through. And I was like, I looked at the textbook of physics. I was like, ah, chemistry. Like, okay. MLB. I was like, ah, was this giving grade Sabah, 10 life, life sciences? Sabah. Where? Guys, if you take my metric certificate, you take my results from the first year. Ngati, I was possessed by something. <laughs> no, like, because I was used to getting high marks. Like, if I'm writing a test, I was like, ah, I'm just trying to guess. Yeah, I'm trying to guess how high the distinction will be. You're not worried about passing and passing about how I was chasing fever. And you're okay with that. And I was okay with it. You're okay with that. I was like, I, I really feel like you at the end of the day, okay with that. I feel like I became okay when I told myself, I'm here, no one is going to chase me away. And if I get 50 mm -hmm. and someone who's in BSc trying to get into medicine gets 80%, mm -hmm. they're not going to say, oh, no, no, you got 50%. This person wants to get in and they got 80% swap so, so, positions. Yeah. They're not going to do that. So I was just like, as long as I get a 50, <laughs> It's really okay. And it's so funny when high school teachers ask, How's university? I'm sure you're I'm like, where? Yeah. And and do you really have to take the energy by at first at first you feel like is it a mistake that I'm here? Was I just lucky in the trick? Or what? Imposter syndrome is a lot. Yeah. It, like it I is. said in my last video, I think I think for the longest time and I think I should bring it back. For the longest time, in my my laptop my screen saver was it will end in Dr. Sipang. And my phone it was something similar to that. And my iPad it was something similar to that. Whoa. There was always so a Dr. Pressure. Sipang or somewhere somehow because I just needed a constant reminder but okay. It will end in Dr. Sipang, whether <laughs> you fail the test now or whether no, you have distinctions. If you have 50, it's it is going to end in Dr. Sipang one way or another. And reading it and seeing it every day was sort of a manifestation in a sense. But no matter how bad it gets or no matter how hard it gets, you are meant to be here. And yeah. everything has to be hard before it gets it gets better. You know? and I thought second year was going to be better, but okay. it <laughs> looks like I was wrong. We can't, we can't do third year. Your problem is third year is probably going to do you better. Thought. And I shouldn't have thought that. Yeah. I, I really shouldn't have thought. Because I really shouldn't have thought. What are your expectations for second year? So in second year, also before she answers, we have two main or major blocks. Yeah. Um, we have e physiology and we have anatomy, and people are always complaining about those two. So. What are your what are your expectations <laughs> for first semester? Let, let's do first semester based. I'm not expecting things to get any better for me because I don't feel like I'm putting in the work. I feel like that is the introduction. So if it's like this, the introduction. <laughs> I'm expecting it to get worse. I'm just bracing myself. <clears throat> Before we wrap up the video, I dare you to tell us your lowest mark for sync. Never! Dare to tell us your lowest mark for sync. I'll tell you my lowest mark, mm -hmm. but I won't tell you which module it was. But that's not fair. <laughs> you, you can't tell us the um, lowest mark and not tell us what it was for. Like it has to make sense about why, especially based off everything that you've just said. And explain why <laughs> why it was your lowest mark at that. You want to expose me, ne? Mm. Okay, my lowest mark was proof that I did not like the supplementary. Because you know you get 50 on the dot when it's a supplementary. I got 51. And that was a distinction if it being honest. Yes. If it was not chemistry, I'm going to say it was block one. It was block one. Uh, they <laughs> one of the two. It was block one. What was your highest mark last year? 
I'm not sure. It was a 90 something for first semester modules though. What was your lowest mark? My lowest mark. <laughs> It was a 67. Wow, sharp. <laughs> okay, son. <laughs> what? I can't say. <laughs> it was a 67 for block one. I think my highest mark was probably 100%. For what? Yeah, each. <laughs> took a nail. Okay. Anyways, guys, um, thank you very much for tuning in. If you did make it this far to the video, I truly appreciate your support. Please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button somewhere below. I will be leaving a social, I will leave on your socials somewhere in the description box. Don't forget to share, subscribe, like, yeah, comment. To the, things, to the things. Even if it's a fire emoji or a crying emoji, so just comment, please. And tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends. To tell their friends to 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 find my and channel. And if you're one of our classmates, don't judge us. <laughs> <laughs> don't look at me <laughs> and see fifty one percent, please. <laughs> new year, new me. Yeah. Please. Mm. Oh, I'm a better what person. I was last year is not who I am. So, thank you very much for tuning in. I truly appreciate you guys. Until the next video.